All right, and we're back with more Bio Senshi Dan or Bio Warrior Dan. All right, so let's do this. We're picking up right where we left off before. So we're in area two, and we've used, I think, our third continue out of five. So I'm gonna try to play it safe this time. Please. Oh, already not playing it safe. All right, whatever. Wow. Okay. <laughs> You know, I almost want to restart, because this is such a bad start, but oh, screw it. We're just going to keep going. Alright, so... Um, you know what, let's get this this time, and we're going to experiment with it. We're going to see if it actually does anything. Because I remember last time we tried it out. I honestly... Get the impression that. Whoa, wait a minute, did you see that? It was weird, it was like. Anyways. Yeah, it looked like two enemies died. I thought it had some weird, like, linking effect or something. So I'm gonna go straight through the, the dark area first. Ah, man, I'm getting bad flashbacks from this game from earlier. I'm just gonna crawl, crawl along the floor here. I'm actually going to stick with the gun this time, until I see a reason not to. And actually, we're going to buy... damn it. <laughs> we're going to buy the glasses. The, uh, the scanner goggles. Because... Actually, I think this gun might be doing more damage, but I'm not entirely sure. Because I actually want to see what's inside this place this time. Hopefully, not get killed by any kind of fallen crap. So I was having some, um, some trouble, you know, with the whole video editing thing because this is actually the first time that I've ever done a Let's Play, and you know I've recorded some stuff before, but I've never really gotten quite the hang of it in terms of recording it and then editing it and then exporting it and then uploading it and like it seems like there's always something lost in that process. Actually I think this gun is doing a lot more damage than my heat knife so we're gonna stick with this. Um, so yeah, so what I ended up doing was I tried Premiere first and that didn't work. So then I used, um, what I did was I downloaded DivX. And I basically converted all my raw, raw files, which were recorded with fraps, I converted them to MKVs, which were like... The raw files were like 4 gigs, which was insane, because I'm, I'm doing, uh, HD. Ah, look at that. Oh, okay. So, it's... that's interesting. So I thought that thing just, like, fell down on me, like... Ah, look at this. I don't think we've been here before. Or have we? So, anyways, I'm just, uh, I you know I was saying something and then I kind of got distracted because stuff happened. Um, oh, you know what? Is this the area we were in before? Because if so, we can get our health buff right here, and we haven't lost any lives yet, which is good. We're actually doing really good this run. Um, anyways, to get back to what I was saying, this guy's gonna raise his strength. Alright, wow, awesome. So it actually, it didn't just raise it um, by four. It, it was already raised, I guess, after we died. And so now it looks like it's maxed out, which is pretty cool. Um, so anyways, what I was saying was I ended up using uh, DivX to convert everything to XVIDs. And I was saying that the raw files were like four gigabytes each. and they cap out at 4 gigabytes, so what Fraps does is it'll record up to 4 gigabytes, and then it'll, like, start recording a new video. So I have, like, 8 videos, and, um, fortunately, I, I actually tried downloading all these stupid, uh, like, video joiner programs, and I think I ended up with some, like, spyware on my computer or something. I don't know, it was a hassle. But, um... But, I realized that the DivX had this built-in thing where 
it could just join them together in one file automatically. So that really just solved all my problems. No, I don't want to wrestle. Um, so yeah, that solved all my problems. It basically put all eight files into one and compressed it down to like a few hundred megabytes for one file that's like 45 minutes long. Well, actually 35 minutes long. As opposed to having like... Oops. As opposed to having... As opposed to having eight files that were like four gigabytes each, so um, yeah, so that's a that's my cool story, bro. And now here we are. We've got one video on YouTube already, and this one will also go on YouTube, obviously, when I'm done recording it. But at least now I have a much better understanding of how this stuff works, and I really look forward to doing a lot of stuff with this, you know, Let's Play, and particularly with obscure NES games, and maybe not just NES games, because there's a few other Super Nintendo and other platforms I'd like to explore, um, but I'm just glad to know that, you know, things can be recorded and kind of put together, and okay, so here's the boss. Um, I'm not confident with my help right now, so... Oh, that's weird. That one shot just... Ah, so, how do you even dodge, like, half the... Ah, oh, man, we got him really low. But this is this is good, because... Let's actually try going out of the door first. Nope, can't do it. I didn't think it would let me, because... Alright, so... Anyways, I'm just... I'm excited about doing this, because... It's something I've been wanting to do for a while in my free time. And I seem to have a lot of free time these days. Um... But, you know, I I like playing games, but I also like the idea of documenting what I'm doing, so... And sharing it with other people, because, you know, maybe not everyone wants to go to the trouble of playing this game, but they totally want to see what it's all about, so... That's exactly why videos like this exist. Um, anyways, don't mean to break the fourth wall on you too much there, but... Just, uh... Yeah. Another funny thing that happened... Um, between recording my last video and uploading it, uh, was this, uh, 16-year-old kid. Whoa, that was weird. So this 16-year-old kid, uh, came on one of my videos and threatened to beat my ass because I pissed him off because he was a brony and I, I was, uh, talking shit on, um, uh, brony video. I was, like, making fun of it or something, which, yeah, I, I, I was addicted to doing that, and I don't know. <laughs> you know, it, it happens. So now all the bronies who watch this are gonna realize that I'm an anti-brony and dislike my video, if they're the crazy kind, but, um, I, I can't help it. Like, I have this, I have this really weird history on YouTube of just, like, I don't know what it is. Like, every other site, I'm a decent human being, but when it comes to YouTube, I'm a complete piece of shit. I just, like, I just say the nastiest things to people sometimes, and I don't know. I, now that I'm actually gonna be uploading vi videos pretty regularly on YouTube, I'm kind of worried that all the people that I've ever pissed off are gonna come back and dislike all my videos, so if this video gets a lot of dislikes, it's probably because of that. I'm gonna beat this guy right now. Ooh. And I noticed that the, the, um, okay, what's he gonna turn into now? Is it gonna be a ninja again, or? Okay, I've never gotten this far in the, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so I turned into a, a spring ball. Whoa, this is interesting. Oops. Switch back to that gun. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the gun. I'm liking the gun. It's grown on me. So what I was gonna say was that, um, I noticed that the, the mother uh, ink liaison or whatever it's called, I don't, I don't know what the monsters are called, but like basically the boss is basically a really, really large version, and all the enemies that you encounter in the stage, not all of them, but there's like a certain type of enemy that seems to have larger and larger variations, and the boss is like the largest variation of itself. I don't know if that makes sense, but... If you notice, when you kill the bosses, they shrink down into a... 
into smaller and smaller enemies in their death animation. So this is a really interesting place, but I'm also kind of freaked out because I'm getting a very, very strong maze vibe, and I'm not quite sure if I'm going in circles or if I'm missing a lot of stuff, so... That kind of makes me nervous. Um, there's a door. I don't think we've seen one of those yet. And an elevator. I almost don't want to take the elevator because I feel like I've missed a ton of stuff right now. So... I, I don't... I don't like games that are, like, extremely linear, but at the same time, I don't like the feeling that, like, I'm missing stuff, so... I like it when there's a pretty good sense of, okay, well, here's two paths I can go, but this one is obviously, like, if I go down this path, I'll get a treasure or something. But, like, it's, it's, it's clearly not the main path, you know what I mean? And usually, like, I'm, I'm actually pretty good at, like, knowing what kind of paths will do that in the game. Alright. Mr. Uh, I don't know what we should call this guy. Let's let's avoid calling him anything. Um, so, 40... What are we buying? Oh, so he actually was offering to sell me an upgrade to a weapon that I don't have yet. That's interesting. Alright. So let's... Uh, now we know that that weapon is most likely in this area. Doing, we've got one life, and kind of low on health, so ideally an inn would be pretty good right about now. Oh, let's just go down this. And I did watch my last video, and the one, one thing that I was really self-conscious about was that um, all of... Shit, 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 ah... Uh, one thing that I was self-conscious about was that all the, like, noises I made with, you know, breathing or licking my lips or something, I was worried that it was all going to pick up on the mic and sound weird. Uh, but fortunately, the game music... Oh, man, now that is painful. We needed the end so bad, and we were within a stone's throw of the end and just died, so... Um, now we don't need the end right now. To the left is a secret path. Look for a weapon. Okay. Well, <laughs> thanks. I'm glad you laid it out for me. It must not be too much of a secret path, then. I wonder, um... So I wonder, um... About the translation of this, actually, because... This is, um, this is a fan translation done by a ROM hacking group, and I'm not exactly 100% sure who did the translation. I could probably find out. It'd probably be good to find out because, you know, give credit where credit's due. Um, but yeah, I wonder, I wonder how true they stayed to the original dialogue, or if they took some pretty big liberties. Another funny thing I noticed about this guy is, um, Especially when he's crawling, he looks like he's wearing a green tracksuit. Do you see that? Just a green tracks, like Adidas tracksuit with a strip. Whoa. Wow, this game is awesome, actually. <laughs> I, I really dig this game. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm totally used to the controls by now. Everything feels really good. Like, ah, uh, that was annoying. I mean, there, there are the occasional hiccups of annoyances and cheap shots, but, you know, you, you get that with any game. Um, but yeah, I've, I've gotten over the, the, the original stiffness of the controls, and now I feel like I can kind of maneuver through the world pretty, I wouldn't say easily, but, you know, well enough to enjoy the game. And I'm really enjoying just some of the uh, environments. And games like this are right up my alley, so it's, it's a real treat to actually... Not just be playing this for the first time, but, you know, documenting the whole experience and sharing it with people. It's almost like a... A sci-fi version of Monster Party, which is one of my favorite games. So let's see what's going on here. 
trying to get up here. That was really weird. Wow. Hey boss, check this out. The rolling shot rocks. Flies around boss and protects him. How's 100 E sound? Sounds good. Good luck. I like how he calls me boss. That's cute. So, that's interesting. We've got a gap. A big gap between the gun and the rolling shot. So, I hope that we didn't miss anything. Uh, but let's try this thing out. Wow, okay. Now, that might be good for protection, but honestly, I don't know how effective it's going to be as a, as a weapon in this game. It almost feels like a melee weapon. Um, Alright, well, we're gonna take our chances. Ouch. Okay, yeah, I, I'm not liking this thing, so let's switch back. Um, go see Mr. Nihau. That's what I'm... I'm just gonna call him Mr. Nihau, because that's what he says. Whoa, that was close. Alright, I think... Whoa, shit. Oh, man, that was... Oh, fuck. Well, it ended up bad anyways. Game over. Alright, so... This might be our last continue. Nope, it's the, I'm guessing the second to last. So, we lost our rolling shot. That's great. Now, this is interesting because, is this the start of the, um, I'm trying to figure out if this is the start of the level or the start of the area. Because if it is, I'm just, I'm kind of getting a, an understanding, getting my bearings, as it were. Oh man. Because I remember when I started before, there was this whole, I think there was like a whole area to the right that I never explored. Yeah, you know what? Let's go back here. Because, yeah, so there's an elevator there, and that actually seems to move around from another area. That, okay. There's almost, I want to say at this point, there's almost no point to killing enemies if I don't have to, because the only, the only, um, I guess, bonus to killing them is, whoa, that was weird, it did that weird thing again. Anyways, that, <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, that's really weird. Um, but the only advantage to killing enemies in this game so far that I can tell is the collection of EN and if I don't um if I don't have room for EN then what's the point, you know? So I mean I'm almost maxed out again. I just the reason I'm going back here is because I wanna see um I wanna acquire that weapon again, the rolling shot, because we lost it when we died. And then I'm gonna go try to get the upgrade for it, and see if the upgrade makes it an actual decent weapon, or if it's just gonna continue to be nonsensical and useless. I mean, I'm sure it has a use in certain contexts, but I've grown quite fond of both the sword and the gun, so... The only thing I noticed, though, is that when we died, we lost the rolling shot, and they still had charged me for the, uh, for it, yeah, so. So we were short 100 EN, and, and we didn't have a rolling shot, so that might be why the game gives so much EN, um, because maybe as the game gets harder, gets harder to, um, we're gonna go to the, sorry, I'm trying to, like, this is, this is such a, oh, what? I had, like, two, oh, wow, okay, that was, <laughs> no need to go to the end now, all right, okay, so we didn't lose our rolling shot that time, okay, that's good, I'm still trying to figure out what dictates, you know, how things are, Figure out the whole checkpoint 
and you know, like, I know certain items get lost, but I think that that's only if you die and you have to continue. Uh, certain ones just get lost if you just die, period, so. I don't think we've been here yet, let's check this out. Ah, this guy. Ah, uh, well, might as well cap off our... Basically, free money. No, I'll, I'll, I'll play it for real. Alright. I'm actually tapping it for real. Really fast. <laughs> it does get kind of tiresome, because, man, I tap my fingers super fast when I do that shit. Alright. <laughs> I just wanted to prove myself that I could do it, and I wasn't just being a cheap ass by using the turbo button, but, you know. Turbo buttons on these systems have existed probably as early as the systems themselves, so I don't feel too bad, because I'm sure a lot of kids were using turbo buttons or stuff like that. I mean, if turbo buttons ex exist, and you're making a game that utilizes, like, a, a fast tapping feature, then be careful out there, I may be alone, but I'm a good guy. <laughs> well, that's nice. That's a really weird thing to tell somebody. Be careful out there. I may be alone, but I'm really a good guy. It's like... I don't know. Anyways. Um, I was gonna say that if you design a game and it has some quick tapping function, or, or just don't design that kind of function if, if turbo functions exist, because... I don't know. Now this is really interesting, because... In isn't fit for humans. Wow, that's awesome. I came all the way to this dead end just to find out that this asshole couldn't put me up for the night. Alright. Something about this area just almost says that there's a secret waiting to be found, but I don't know how much time I want to spend looking for it. Because I know they like to put those little secret... Alright, that's enough time looking for secrets. Well, I mean, the bottom line with this is I can't make too many promises because it's the first time playing this game, so I'm really just finding my footing in it, you know, I don't know anything about where I'm supposed to go or much about what I'm supposed to do, and now I almost feel like I'm at a dead end, because, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, what's going on? So. Am I seeing this right? So when I come up into this area, I feel like I'm missing something really obvious and I'm really stupid right now. But, um, so this guy says he can't put me up for the night because I'm human. I almost wonder, I mean, <laughs> I almost wonder if this game has some kind of, like, transformation ability where I can become a different non-human character, but probably not. And this is the old man that says, don't be afraid of me or whatever. And then when I go this way, and almost die, how am I at a dead end here? Like, how did I get in here? That's what I'm really confused about right now. Damn. Alright. Did it actually... Hello again, I'm alone, but I'm a good guy. Wahaha. Oh, you know what I think this is? It's one of those things where... Haha, <laughs> I'm alone, but I'm a good guy, or whatever. Okay, this is just getting really surreal. I'm gonna keep going in and out of here. So, I thought he was gonna transform into something crazy, but he didn't, so... I think he's actually changing my location or something. Yep, that's interesting. Well, as if the exploration aspect of this game needed to be any con any more confusing. Um, I think it's just hit terminal velocity. A nice old man used to live here. He was a little odd though. You don't say. Alright. 
tell. This is really weird. I want to check these areas just because, you know, you never know with these old NES games. They would hide something invisible right in front of you without even thinking twice. It's just how they do it. But, in this case, there wasn't anything. Let me make sure I'm well clear of the door before trying to stand back up, because we know how that goes. Alright. And I did check on YouTube to see if there was any uh, Let's Plays of this video, and it didn't seem like there was, so I'm kind of glad that I'm one of the few people, if possibly the only person, to do a Let's Play of this. I mean, I've seen some long plays where people play through the game, but... I've seen a s- oh, damn it. I saw a speed run as well, but I didn't see any, you know, people playing and talking. Alright, so, this should be completely new. Wow, this is really making me nervous, because... Yeah, that was a little bit nerve-wracking there. we've been up there. This place is really... Hmm. Maybe I should use a little shot. I feel like I just went back really far. I don't know. I'm getting a little bit confused. But I think that might be part of the whole... Oh wait, is this a boss? Feels like a whole god, yeah. And he's got a ton of MV, so I don't know if it's gonna be possible. Although it doesn't seem that he's hitting me, which is kinda cool. It's one of those bosses where you just stand in the corner and you can't be hit, which is awesome. <laughs> he's literally not hitting me, this is really working out. We actually might get to the uh, fourth area. The funny thing is that, wow, we're totally killing this one. We did this once. Unbelievable. So the only thing that I regret is that we didn't get the upgrade. Let's see what we're going to turn into this time. Wow, okay, is that an ostrich? Okay, area four, here we go. We ostrich now. Alright. I don't know what those transformations mean. I guess they're just for fun. I mean, I don't know if they are some kind of metaphor for something, like, oh, now, you know, now that you've come to this area, you're really sticking your neck out like an ostrich. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. That was really bad. Alright, so we've got two paths we can go. Let's go right, even though, I don't know. We've got an elevator here. I did want to see what the upgrade for the rolling fire was, but you know, just have to wonder about that for the rest of my life, because after I beat this, I'll probably never play it again. Who knows, maybe, maybe one day I'll play it again. Damn, I'm really taking a lot of damage here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I like how he knocks me into the, into the sky, and yeah, well, I'm going to pause the video for a second because I've got to take a piss, but you won't notice the difference because I'm just going to hit the button and then turn it back on. Alright, and we're back, and on our last continue no less, and whoa, got a mouse cursor there. All right. So I don't know if announcing that you have to piss in the middle of the video is proper YouTube Let's Play protocol or not. Um, but I also took the time to make a save state, so if we die, then I'll just load the save state so I don't have to start over from the very beginning of the game, because I assume that that's what it's going to make me do um, if I happen to run out of continues. Now, I know a lot of Puritans would say, oh, hold on, I'll save that, let's see. Rolling shot power up. I wonder if the original um, Japanese text was so unabashedly racist towards the Chinese in 
this game. Because <laughs> that, caric that caricature is just really over the top. But, um, yeah, so anyways, as I was saying, um, this, this new upgrade doesn't really impress me a whole lot, but, yeah, fuck that. Alright, so as I was saying, I don't know what happens, or, oh yeah, um, so Puritans might say, oh well, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't use save states, you shouldn't, like, you know, cheat out of using continues or whatever, you know, and at, for the most part, if you want to go for the real experience, I would totally agree, but in this case, I'm just trying to play through the game, I'm not really concerned with, you know, getting any kind of value out of it in terms of, well, oh well, you know, I paid $60 for this game, so, you know, I don't mind playing it over a few times. This is just something, like, this is one of many games on a long list of stuff that I'd like to play through, so... Fuck! Okay. God damn it. Ah. Okay, so we're gonna have to use the rolling shot to get through that part. Because those little dragonfly dudes are just bitches. I'm gonna call them dragonflies, I don't know. Uh, I, yeah, we might not get through this area. Nice. Oh my god. Come on, come on. Okay, so that didn't work. We're not gonna use that. Oh my god, he jumps like a freaking paraplegic. No offense to paraplegics out there. I've tried jumping before, but... Honestly, like, the sluggishness of this character's response time sometimes is just a little bit grating. Alright. Up we go. The doors in this Area 4 are a little bit hard to see. You can't go above without changing your form. Oh, interesting. So, there is a way to change your form in this game. I have no idea how, how to do that, so... I'm assuming that it's gonna be a power-up that we can click. I hope it's not something that I've been able to do this whole time and just not know about. Because um, that would kind of suck. really like the music in this game, too. It's definitely got this... Oh man, really? trying different button combinations because I'm trying to see if there's a way for me to change my form and I don't know if there is. So that's weird. I can't reach that. I almost feel like I've come up against a wall here, so... It tells me the same thing. Looks like we're blocked that way. Now we have to go back to this bullshit, so... We might, if we come up to a dead end on the other side, I might have to stop the video and figure out exactly how to proceed. Because again, I'm not above looking at walkthroughs for this kind of thing. I mean, this game is, like, 25 years old, and with all due respect, you know, I'm just not that, um, I just don't care that much, you know? Like, I, I think it's a great game, I'm enjoying it, but what the fuck? I'm not enjoying that, that's for sure. Alright, so we got game over. I think we've used up all our all of our continues, so let's see what happens when we try to continue. Because if it just dumps me back at the start. Really? Yep, that's the start of the game. So alright, I think we're gonna call it quits for this one. And 
I'm going to figure out how to proceed. And I'll see you guys next time.